Welcome back to my studio. I have a thing about values. If you've been watching my videos for some time or doing my courses, you know that values are really important. And I'm going to show you an example of what I'm talking about in this short lesson. Now there's a saying that goes something to the effect of if there's a problem with your painting and you're not sure what it is, it's probably something to do with values. More than likely, it's a problem with not enough light dark contrast. And that has left the painting lacking a bit of a spark, a bit of life, um, something to get the attention. Yes, there could be things about color and composition and all of those sort of things. But if you pretty much got those in order and it's still not feeling good to you, probably values. And I had this same problem. I've been working on a painting and it hasn't been just couldn't figure it out. And I'd got to a point and uh, here's a picture of it. And I wanted to do something in the shadows and it was just not um, hard to put into words really, but just not that bit of zip that I wanted. I left the painting for some time and this week I brought it out again. It was dried and I needed to have a go at finishing it. And I wanted to work in the shadow areas and make them cool and it's kind of mysterious maybe. And then the focal area was going to be light coming across, etc. And then it dawned on me that I was missing something to do with values. And I was... <laughs> It was like a weird realization that I was making the same mistake that I've been telling students not to make. And that happens so easily. And that is why taking a break from your painting and coming back to it a few days later or a week later, and it hits you exactly what you need to do. Here I jumped into getting the values stronger in these shadow areas and uh, also helping me to bring in then more layers, warmer shadows, but still cool compared to the light. And now I had something to work off and I could progress and pretty much complete the painting. I'm still going to do a bit of um, glazing over the over parts of it to enrich the colors a bit. By and large, the values are now in place and there is a good bit of strength to the foreground area and it can go into the bright lights in the, in the background, etc. And that's it. That's just about getting the values simplified and strong. And then you've got a painting, hopefully you've solved the problem. So if you're facing something like that and you're not quite sure, just re-establish some of the dark structure of the values and see where that takes you. It can't do any worse. If they're too dark and you want to come back in, well, you can go over with lighter value. But it's much more difficult to go from light values to dark values. And then you're really going to have to let your painting completely dry and then go in with the darks again over those lights because light over dark is going to cause a bit of mixing and the colors are going to get a bit muddy. So there you go, values. Well, I hope that was useful. Maybe it's going to help you now or in the near future. If you enjoyed the video and it gave you something to think about, please give the video a like and if you haven't subscribed yet, do so. Hit the notification button and you'll get more videos in the future. Excellent. So until next time, cheers for now.